Now, Amanda Holden, uh, my former Britain's Got Talent colleague, has released shocking footage of another moped attack in southwest London. So this is near her home in Richmond, and it shows a, a gang pulling up on mopeds. Then you see two of the men get off. They have a little chat with each other. And then this woman and child are targeted. They then back into the busy road, nearly get run over. The woman's shouting, don't take my child. We think the girl is three years old. So they narrowly avoid being run over. Then these guys, these scaffolders uh, in their lorry, then grab some pipe and go after these moped guys, who, of course, being gutless little cowards, just run away. Mm. And good on those guys for going to help that woman. Because they're brave enough to tackle a woman with her three-year-old child. But, you know, in London, you've got to say, that's the first time I've seen anybody trying to stop these people, mm. right? What, what is going on? We wanted uh, London Mayor Sadiq Khan to come on. We were indicated by his office that he, he may come on today. He's not turned up again. He doesn't want to answer tough questions about moped crime or knife crime. That's his right as London Mayor to do any TV he wants to do. I think he's gutless. I think we need to get answers to what's going on here. So we're joined now by Inspector Harrison White from the Greater Manchester Police, a force that is trying to cr uh, crack down on the rise of moped attacks. And here in the studio is journalist Livy Haydock, who spent time with moped gangsters who use acid and knives to steal phones for a new documentary. Mm -hmm. So uh, good morning to you both. Inspector White, uh, we were very impressed, I think, down here, where this has become an epidemic in London, mm -hmm. to see that there's a police force up in Manchester that is now using some quite original tactics to deal with these people. Tell us about uh, what is now your methodology for trying to stop these moped thugs? Good morning, Piers. The Safer Roads targeting team was established last year, initially to look at illegal use of off-road bikes. But obviously, as we kept an eye on crime trends within Greater Manchester, we saw this increase in risk of uh, illegal use of two-wheel vehicles to commit crime in localised areas of Greater Manchester and we, it was a natural development of the unit to respond to that using various means, in this case in relation to our covert bikes and trying to basically preempt any form of pursuit by taking that decisive action which was obviously seen in the video which was released so uh, you, a few days you've, ago. You've got, um, this is one of many Yeah, you've many got tactics. plain clothes police officers on covert bikes as you say, so you've got what, hundreds of police officers out on the road just in case um, moped crime is committed? No, no we're very much intelligence-led, so we have a, a, a team, a Safe Roads targeting team, who will respond to where we're seeing this increase in this particular form of crime. Um, it is very localised in Greater Manchester. It's not a pan-Manchester pan issue at this moment in time. So it affords us the opportunity to respond to those areas in conjunction with the neighbourhood teams that are operating on the local level so that we can target our resources appropriately to the issue that was facing. In this case, the officers were in that area because of ongoing concern with respect of off-road use of bikes. They came across what they uh, believed to be two bikes that were intentionally or likely to commit offences and took, decided to take that preemptive action so as to prevent any form of pursuit and also bring, uh, seize those bikes which were being used illegally at that time.